Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. I just want to deal with this for one moment. You cannot buy God back. I don't care how many tithes and offerings you choose to give. I don't care if you build the building fund all by yourself. If you are not obedient to what God has called you to do, it will profit you nothing. He doesn't want any of our stuff. He wants a broken heart. He wants a soul that is hungry yes, for him. Yes, 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 sir. God don't give a happy about your stuff. It's all his anyway. Amen. How we look, God, I'm going to give you $300 if you bless me. What is that? Uh, That's why he said, when you sow, men shall give into your bosom. But we can't even accept that. Why? Because of pride. Uh -huh. No, don't help me. I don't need this. I don't need that. That's what the word said. What you want to do? Fall out the sky? Jesus. Jesus. Rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. But we've been taught in the church, disobey God. It's okay. You can buy your way back. As long as the pastor likes you, it's all right. As long as the bishop covers you, you're going to be okay. No, you're not going to be okay. Amen. Yes, sir, God. Be awesome. If we can't serve God, we ought to keep our money and we ought to stay at home. God, we have to obey God. We have to obey God completely. We can't be stubborn. We don't know better than him. That's right. If I can be honest, I have found myself, God will say something, it can be something so simple. God can say, go pick that up off the floor. Uh, and I can say, well, God, I'll vacuum it. Mm. After church, uh, I go vacuum that little piece of paper off the floor, but I still live disobedient. Yes. Did the job get done? Yes, but who cares? Didn't we just say that God has need of us, but he doesn't need us? If he wants that paper off the floor, he can do it any way he wants to. But if he tells me to go and pick it up, and I choose to vacuum it, the result has nothing to do with whether or not I was obedient. We've got to understand that. I don't care how big your church is. The result has nothing to do with whether or not you were obedient to the voice of God. we got to stop looking at people's stuff. Stop being impressed. Do not believe the hype. I don't give a happy what they got if they didn't hear the voice of God and completely obey. That's right. Wow. 